A hundred years of engineering at Geneva College is a marvelous milestone. It's neat to see the development of you know, what engineering was a hundred years ago. I'm very proud to be a part of the modern end of the hundred years of Geneva engineering where we saw where it went, that it was worth starting in the first place. Excellence in engineering with a Christian foundation is something I think that, particularly in this day and age, we really need. I think it's a calling. I think what engineers do is help to maintain the physical aspects of community, help build it up. The engineering program at Geneva is not just a good job. It's not just about making money for your family and for yourself. It's about helping society, helping our culture. That mindset is radical. Engineering has been a very important part of Geneva College. We are in an industrial valley. We've got the layers of soot to prove it. The college was placed here because this was a growing community because of the industrial base that was here. So the college started an engineering program to serve the community, and we've been doing it ever since. Geneva started its engineering program in the academic year 1920-21 under the instruction of Henry C. Thompson. True to the nature of the college, its leadership made decisions based on the impact its graduates could have in the world. In 1947, Geneva offered the first full-year degree in engineering. World War II veterans flooded into the program. The number and variety of courses increased. Computer programming in 1967, civil and electrical engineering in the 1970s, and chemical engineering in the 1980s. In the early 1980s, John Pinkerton spearheaded the Center for Technology Development at Geneva. He was basically a physicist who retrained himself to be an electrical engineer, and he was a, a wonderful colleague. He was very good at making connections with people outside the campus paving the way for faculty members and students to work with government and industrial partners. When the steel industry declined, the population of Beaver County declined. The enrollment decline led the college to reevaluate the engineering program. Geneva hired a new leader, Harvard-educated Dr. James Gidley. When I came to Geneva in 1990, I was brought in not only as a faculty member, but also to chair the department with the specific goal of achieving ABET accreditation. ABET is the Accreditation Board for Engineering and Technology. It is virtually essential for an engineering program with the number of faculty that we had at the time. We could achieve accreditation as a general engineering program with concentrations. We wanted students to think about engineering within a liberal arts perspective, to think about engineering in terms of how it affects people, how it builds culture. The program once again flourished and was repeatedly named a top 100 best engineering program in the nation. By 2016, over 300 Geneva students were once again majoring in engineering. They teach you here at Geneva that you're not just what you study, you are a person. I've learned about civil engineering, geotechnical engineering, urban hydrology, you name it. But mostly I learned about work ethic, how to treat people, how to respect their time. So by the time you get to your senior year, you're taking that knowledge, deciding what it is you really like to do, and then working with a team to finish a project. The students had excellent instruction in the classroom and quality capstone projects to complete their academic career. Solar splash, Baja all-terrain vehicles, steel bridge design, robotics, water treatment solutions, and more. I'm proud to have made it through the challenging curriculum that prepared me for my professional and academic careers beyond Geneva. I've had multiple professors here write me reference letters for work, reference letters for graduate school. They just did a really good job of showing me that I mattered, that they cared about me, and that's why I'm happy to still have relationships with these people to this day. Dr. Gidley, chair of the engineering department for one-third of the program's history, passed the baton in 2019 and entered a phased retirement. When I became the chair and replaced him, it was, it was, there were big shoes to fill. It was pretty um, intimidating. My vision 
for the engineering department at Geneva is to maintain the rich heritage that we currently have. Take on all the challenges that have come up in recent times. It will require us to do things differently than we're doing now, but that's what we're supposed to do. The problems that the first year engineering students at Geneva 100 years ago experienced are not the same things that we're dealing with right now. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how it moves forward in the future. Geneva Engineering is like a very long rope and we're just a little speck on that rope. Each one of those specks matters. Each one brought on new innovations. Each one helped bring the next generation further along. And I like to think that we're a part of that. We're a greater part of a whole. The engineering program at Geneva ultimately is not in my hands. It's not in Anthony Comer's hands. It's not in the faculty's hands. It's in Christ's hands. And he does with it what he wills. And we pray that he will continue to use us to serve our students and through them to serve the society around us. And through that kind of service to give glory to God. That's our hope.